Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to ECW, it is time for Hardcore Heaven, and with me tonight will be William, he is a host, he has created a show like me, it is called WAW, go subscribe to him, go watch his content, he just had pay view, just like this one, <clears throat> go like his videos. Starting us off, though, will be the Tag Team Championship match, the Nasty Boys versus Rock and Roll Express. Last time we saw Robert Gibson picked up the victory over Jerry Sags. Yo. Could, could they get redemption? We could. We're going to have to wait and see about that. N Nasty Boys, they won the uh, number one contendership match against the Dudley Boys to get this shot. Yep. And coming out next is your tag team champions, the Rock and Roll Express. Like, they don't seem to be too stressed out about losing their titles. <laughs> I mean, if you think about the Nasty Boys, they have the weight advantage. The Nasty Boys, Rock and Roll Express, ref, ring that bell. Starting off the match will be, will be Brian Nobbs and Ricky Morton. Oh, a headlock already just started off, but then letting it go. Oh, the punch. Oh, wait. Oh, a punch to the back. Smart strategy. Get them confused. Uh oh, a headlock. Uh oh, bending the arm. Uh oh, 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 dropping him down. Oh, thrown by knobs in the corner. Oh, reverse. Oh, knocking, knocking Robert Gibson off the apron. But then the job toe hold. Did not ex did not see that coming. I don't think Robert Gibson did either. <laughs> yeah, get one damage at a time. Uh, getting thrown in the ropes. Oh, oh, oh dropped. Oh, going to tag in Robert Gibson. Uh oh, the punch. Oh no. And we get to see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man. Oh, picking up. Oh, a knee to the head. Ryan Nubs has yet to tag in Jerry Sags. Yeah, I try and show him how it's like to actually face people. Oh no, Brian Nubs. Uh oh! Robert Gibson with the roll! Kick up! Arm drag! Oh no! And a d d jumping DDT! Oh no! Going tagging Jerry Sags, Robert Gibson stopped him! Yeah. It's, that's their half! As long as they can keep him there, he can't get the tag. Oh! 
Oh, a clothesline! Another clothesline! Uh oh, duck! Oh no! A, oh, a jumping one! Another kick to the gut, but an uppercut this time! Uh oh, raking the eyes! Oh. Oh no. Robert Gitchin tagging Ricky Morton. The double drop kick. Could that be it? Jay says not helping. One, two. Oh. A close three count. A close three count. Oh. Knocked out Ricky Morton. Putting him in his half so Robert Gibson can't break it up. One, two, oh, the kick out. For the first time this match, Jay Sags is tagged in and kicked his, ta his own tag team partner. Wait, what? Ricky Morton taking advantage. Oh. Uh, Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, a drop kick! A drop kick! Telling Jay Sacks to get up! The move! The DDT! He's ending so much people off that! One! Two! Oh, Jay Sacks kicking out! Yeah. Wait. Uh oh. Brian Knob trying to get into the ring. The ref said no. Oh, elbow to the gut by Ricky Morton. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Yeah. Uh oh, pick him up. Oh, the shoulder tackle. Oh, what an elbow. Wait, what? Drake more? Oh, no. Hot tag to Brian Knobs. A drop kick. Drake more back up. Another drop kick. Drake more gets back up in a clothesline. Oh, the kick to the guy, a nearly uppercut. <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. I don't think so. Uh oh. Ricky Morton throwing him in the corner where Robert Gibson's at. Oh. Oh, knocking Robert Gibson off. Oh, no. It's just a one on one match. Both their tag partners are knocked out. And a drop kick. Could that be it? One, two, three. The Rock and Roll Express retain the tag team championships. What a match to start off the show. Nope. Oh, I mean, at the end, there's basically a one-on-one -on -one match between Ricky Morton and Brian Knobs, because Robert Gibson and Jerry Sags were knocked out. And you gotta think about this, Brian Knobs was too focused on showing Jerry Sags how not to lose, that he didn't realize about how much of a beating he was taking, and the Rock and Roll Express took advantage of that. Brian Knobs definitely took Rock and Roll Express, uh, underlooked. I forgot the words, so I'm gonna say underlooked. <laughs> <laughs> Second match will be Umaga versus Stevie Richards. Umaga looking 
looking for a dominant matchup here against Stevie Richards, but you never want to count Stevie Richards. Never. Out. Stevie Richards, the man who almost defeated Jimmy Snuka on Jimmy Snuka's uh, comeback match. Yeah, but now he's going to have to go one-on-one -on -one with the man B, Sumaga. Uh, oh. I feel like after Umaga's done with Stevie Richards, there's going to be a grease spot left in the ring after what Umaga's going to do to him tonight. Possibly. Uh, I mean, Umaga, he came out of nowhere and just attacked Tommy Dreamer. That is true. And we have not heard of Tommy Dreamer since. I mean... Knocked him out. I don't know. Yeah. Well, talking about Umaga. Here it comes now. Umaga, one of the biggest Samoans to ever fight. Rest in peace. If you think about this is his first match. That is technically true. This is his first match. And if Stevie Richards wants to prove himself, this is one hell of a way to do it by beating him up. Yep. But all I gotta say to Stevie is good luck with that. I don't know how he's gonna defeat the Samoan bulldozer, dude. But he has been the underdog in all of his other fights. <laughs> yep, a former member of BWO, C. Richards here. We haven't seen him since that Jimmy Snuka match. Never will. At one point, he even asked Paul Heyman if he could fight Big Show to prove himself. But Paul, but Paul Heyman said no because he knew what was going to be the outcome. As you should in this business. But Umaga, he don't care if you have a heart. He's just here. He's just here to dominate. No. Oh. oh, Umaga, Stevie Richards, ref, ring the bell. Match gets underway. Oh, Stevie with the punches! Oh no, but the chop from Umaga. Oh no. Oh no, Stevie. Oh, Stevie! Oh, uh, throwing Umaga in the corner. Oh no, Umaga. Throwing <laughs> Stevie Richards in the corner and the clothesline to the back of the head. Oh, is Stevie trying to fight with the gate to the gut? Uh oh. Oh, sh oh my God! On the off the ropes. Oh, close I did back the head in the corner. Oh. Throwing you my guy again in the corner and never. Go oh no, missing it this time. Oh, punch to the back. Yep. Oh, wait. Throwing him into the ring post. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, I don't think that's going to work with Umaga. Going for the pin. Oh, Sammy Richards not even in a one count. Oh, no trying to pick up CV. CV got out of it and the kick to the back of the leg. And a clothesline. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Oh, but Umaga. Oh, with the reverse STO. Oh no, Stevie throwing Umaga on the apron. Oh, trying to punch him, but Umaga with the punch of his own. Throwing Stevie in the corner. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um. Oh! Has to. He's been doing as much as he can to fight off Umaya. Yeah. Oh, the chop from CV. That did nothing to Umaya. Hit to the back. Oh, no, Umaya. Oh, no, the slow and spike. Oh, no. One, two, Stevie kicked out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Umaga with the kick to the leg. Oh, busting Stevie Richards wide open. Now just slamming his head into the mat. Oh my. Oh no. Oh, Umaga. Oh, on the shoulders! Stevie! The DDT! Oh, Stevie! Wait, Stevie going to get a weapon! Smart! Have an advantage against Umaga. Oh, wait, he didn't grab anything though. Oh no. Oh no, now he's going to get something. Umaga stopped him this time. On the outside. Oh, super kick! CV! Go pin him! Go pin him, CV! Oh, no! Umaga got his. Oh, no. Now a kick to the gut. Not on the outside, Umaga! No! Umaga, don't! Oh, on the apron! Oh! Umaya, he's just a kid. Oh, the pop of Samoan drop. Oh no, Umaya, he's just a kid. Simi, throw Umaya back in. Oh no, Stevie's trying to get the fans hyped up. But Umaya throwing Stevie over his shoulder. Turning CV Riches over. What is he thinking? Oh, twist in the neck. Wait. CV's up. Oh, the punch in the gun. Uh, oh, on the ropes. Oh, close line to CV Richards. Wait, Umaga. Umaga, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Umaga. Oh, now Umaga just punishing him more. Oh. Oh, throwing CV in the steel steps. This is why you never make Umaga mad. Head first on the apron. And a clothesline. Oh, no. 
Oh, Umaga threw Stevie back in finally. Umaga's back in the ring. Stevie! Oh no, Umaga! Umaga threw Stevie halfway. A kick to the gut! Oh no. Oh, head first on the mat. Just end this for God's sake, Umaga. Oh no, the bell tap! Stevie! Are you paying the DDT? Could that be it? Go for the cover! One! Two! Oh, Umaga kicked out! Back! Oh, Stevie almost had it! Oh no! Stevie! Tell Umaga to get up! The super kick! Oh my god! One! Two! Oh, he kicked out! Umaga kicked out! No! Oh my god. Oh no. Not on the outside again. Oh no. Umaga head first on the apron. Uh. Pop up Samoan drop on the outside. Umaga. Umaga, no! Samoan! Spike! Oh no! Save me with the form! Save me fighting back! Oh my god! Oh the low blow! The low blow! Oh no, but Umaga! Oh no, he made Umaga even more mad! Oh no! Oh, oh no, Stevie, you shouldn't have low blowed him. Oh, the constant punches. Stevie with a swinging neck pick on the outside. Just go in the ring. Oh, super kick. Oh, the mic is busted open. Oh my god, throw him back in, see me! Oh no, Umaga! Umaga woke up! The clothesline to the outside, see me! Why would he do that? <laughs> the outside is not a good place for you! Uh oh, on the shoulders! Oh, Umaga dropping him though, and a pop up Samoan drop! Oh, Stevie trying to lift you, Maga. You can't, you can't lift you, Maga, Stevie. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, ever very SCO on the floor. Oh, Maga has him. Is he throwing him back in? No, face first on the apron. He's just trying to destroy him. Oh no! Simone Spike! Oh no for the form again! Another low blow! Oh, Umaga. It's gonna take more than a low blow to get him out of conscience. Uh oh. Knee! Then a Russian leg sweep! No. Stevie telling you Maya to get up. Super kick! Get him! Oh, Maya got grabs Stevie. What is he taking? Oh no, Stevie. Stevie's with the elbows. Oh no, Stevie's tired! The pop-up Samoan drop again! Oh, just throw him in, Umaga. End the suffering. Oh no, see me! Don't you mind in! What's CV thinking? Just walking around, Umaga. Turning him around. Bending the arm and a son to the elbow. Going for the pin. 
One, two, three! Oh my god! Stevie Richards just beat the odds! Um, oh my god. Oh, if I got to be honest, that what an upset for Maga. But we did say Stevie will never back down. He just proved it here. Billy Kidman, Tajiri, and Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko, two, multiple of three of these guys have been considered some of the best. Yep. Dean Malenko, Tajiri, and Billy Kidman, but we're going to find out who's really the best right now. This was just supposed to be between Billy and Tajiri, but T Dean Malenko talked to Paul Heyman, and Paul Heyman said, go for it. But Tajiri was mad about that, as we saw on ECW. Like reasonably, who uh, who would be happy about someone ruining their one-on-one -on -one match? Him and Billy Kidman. Ever since Billy came, Kidman came on the scene, it's just been him and Tajiri. That is true. Tajiri attacked Tajiri. I mean, Billy Kidman <laughs> attacked Tajiri. <laughs> And oh, but Tajiri, he did win the Cruiserweight title against Rey Mysterio, one of the best luchadors to ever go in the ropes in the ring. I mean, could he defeat Billy Kid Kidman and Dean Malenko? Dean Malenko, one of the best technicians, though. So I don't know. I don't know if Dean Malenko could lock in that cloverleaf. It could be a wrap. That is beautiful, so beautiful. Uh, oh, but coming out first, it's Billy Kidman. As we see, the Kidman switch has ended to Jerry on multiple occasions. Uh oh, coming out next is the man who in his debut beat Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko, this is only his second match though. What an accomplishment. I mean, Billy Kidman won it in his first match. That is true. And if that can be no easy way to go, so Dean Malenko is going to have to go through Billy Kidman and Tajiri in order to win that easy way championship. All three of these men, tremendous cruiserweights. Each with, oh yep. Each with different fighting styles. Billy Kidman's the high flyer. Dean Malenko's the technician. Tajiri is the striker. 
the time about Tajiri coming out next is the Cruiserweight Champion, Tajiri. I mean, he's so far the longest reigning Cruiserweight Champ. I mean, that's all it should take. A kick straight to the side of the head. From Tajiri, too. Like, that's not an easy hit. The, the ECW Cruiserweight Championship. Ref ra raising the title. The Billy Kidman, Dean Malenko, Tajiri. Ref, ring that bell. Let's get this match underway. Oh, Dean Malenko going straight for Billy Kidman. I don't think so. Oh, the pin already! One! Oh, not even a one count. Yeah. Oh, Bill Kimmins outside the ring. Tajiri wants Seaman Lake on his own. M Mad that Dean Malenko inserted himself in this match. Oh, Dean Malenko with the elbows. Headlock. Oh, oh, Billy Kidman out of with the kick. Oh, a close line from Dean Malenko to Jimmy's taunting in the corner. That's not a smart strategy. Um, wrist lock. Wrist lock. Oh, arm um, drop. And Hogan Ronda from Billy Kidman. Oh, Billy Kidman throwing Malenko on the road. Bill oh. Dean Malenko grabbing Billy Kidman. Putting Billy Kidman on the ropes. And then the slingshot. Oh, they're getting close line to Dean Malenko outside the ring. Tajiri's on the top rope telling Dean Malenko to get up. Oh, missing the elbow. All the men. Oh, Bill, give me. Oh! With the backbreaker. I mean, not backbreaker. I'm sorry. Backbreaker. <laughs>
Sorry for my absence, but it is now the six man Latin match. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Lenko is now a new cruiserweight champion. And now it's time for the six man money in bank bad match. Steve Austin, Chris Jericho. Coming out next will be Rob Van Dam. We had to get him drug tested before this match. Yeah. <coughs> Boy, we did. Did have such a great start in this company, but as you see now, he's part of the Money in the Bank Live match, and he could get it to get a contract for a WWE top match. I mean, a very easy WWE top match. <laughs> my bad. My mind's just messed up right now. <laughs> the gold standard Shelton Benjamin Yes, like I said WAW well go on William channel go check out his playlist go check out his videos he made some amazing content. And the final guy in this match is none other but the cult of personality, the man who just qualified this week in that battle royale. Chick Magnet CM Punk. Oh, Steam Punk and Chris Jericho been going out for weeks. I just want to see the reaction Chris Jericho had when Steam Punk was the last to qualify in the Money in the Bank. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, aim high above the ring. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry to interrupt the sentence, but... I just got a report that this is actually going to be a six man. Six? But wait, who's the six man? The oh my god! What? He's back! You gotta be kidding me! It's Christian! <laughs> oh my god! He. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm in shock! I I thought this was gonna be a fatal five way! What the hell? Oh It's been years since Christian has been on ECW. For the peeps! <laughs> oh! Captain Charisma! <laughs> oh! 
Oh. Oh, and this time he's back and he can win the money in the bank. Go and say that to each other. Sean Benjamin, Christian fighting. Chris Jericho and CM Punk fighting. RVD and Steve Austin fighting. Oh, Steve Austin throwing RVD outside the ring. CM Punk and Chris Jericho fighting. Uh, they went straight after each other once that bell rang. Oh. Yep. Shot him with the leg drop to the arm and Christian. <clears throat> no. Oh. Seeing Punk's back in the ring. Everyone's in the ring. Oh. Now. <laughs> Christian trying to knock Shelton off the apron. Didn't work out. Oh. And throwing Seeing Punk out. And Shelton Benman throwing Christian out. Oh no, on the top! Oh, I'm dragged from Steve Austin! Chris Jericho face first to CM Punk. Christian with a drop kick on the apron to Shelton Benjamin. Never. He was undefeated until he lost the Cactus Jack on ECW. Oh. No ladders have been involved yet in this matchup. Yep. Oh! Seem Punk and Chris Jericho have not gone off of each other. Uh oh. Oh, backbreaker on the barricade. And Christian with a drop kick to the back of Shelton. Oh, what an elbow. Oh. Just think. It would be a perfect time for Shelton or Christian to get a ladder. Because the other four are outside the ring to focus. Oh wait, Shelton with... Christian! A buckle bomb to Shelton! RVD got the... RVD grabbed the first ladder of this match. Christian's grabbing it! Oh, but dropping it. Seeing that more people were coming inside the ring. Wait, Chris Jericho! Oh, with a ladder to Christian! Yo. Christian C. Punk knocked outside the ring. Oh, wow. Steve Austin with the ladder. Oh, setting up. Wait, Steve Austin, what are you, what are you thinking? Oh, wait. I think he has different plans. Setting it under the money in the bank. Oh, RVD throwing Steve Austin in the corner. Oh. Uh, oh, 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 Christian's back inside the ring. So is CM Punk. Oh, Steve Austin with the power driver. Steve Austin's climbing. Steve Austin's climbing. No one's going to show him. Show him's inside. Is he going to stop it? Uh oh, show him. Sean's climbing up the ladder. Uh oh. Wait, Christian. Suplex is seeing Punk. Knocking down the ladder. Christian just took out three men with one move. He's the only. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Oh, an elbow to the back of Christian. Christian up top. 
Oh, all of these not gonna let him win that easy. Uh. Oh, Christian won't let go of the money in the bank. Oh, he had to. Wait, show in. Oh, no. They're trying to push the ladder. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Power bomb to RVD. Everyone's on the outside. Oh, a low blow to Steve Austin. A super kick to CM Punk. Shawin's inside the ring by himself. Oh my god. Someone needs to go stop him. Someone go. CM Punk tried to with Chris Shanko. Oh no, see Punk climbing up! Punching Shelton in the gut! Uh oh! Oh! He knocked out RVD and Shelton! Christian! Knocking out Chris Jericho! CM Punk is Mr. Money in the Plane! For the third time, CM Punk is missing money in the bank. Oh man. CM Punk can get an ECW championship match whenever he wants, however he wants, wherever he wants. Have to be. Oh. But now, will be Rhino versus Cactus Jack for the television title. TV title on the line here. Rhino, he did win that triple threat qualifying match to face Cactus Jack. But could he be the one to end Cactus Jack's winning streak and his title reign? Cactus Jack has been on one hell of a roll here, but now he's going up against Rhino. The man beast Rhino. And Cactus Jack is going to have to pull something out of the bag here, but same with Rhino. Both men are extremely good, but only one of them is going to be proved to be better than the other. Oh... Uh. Cactus Shack, ever since the first episode, has been undefeated. Has held that title. No one has been able to take it away from him. Is looking to change that. The closest that got to ending his winning streak was MVP, but he came up a bit short. But Coming out first. The man beast, one gore and you will soar, Rhino, running toward the ring. Oh no. Oh. oh. One gore might be able to end him, but I don't know. Because he is facing, facing Cactus Jack. Yeah, that is the thing. Cactus Jack has taken a lot of brutal assaults in his career. And just imagine the multiple things that could happen in the internet. Rhino could go for the cooler, and then Cactus could catch him into a Cactus Driver. Exactly. But the undefeated television title holder, Cactus Jack, every time he's won a match, it's been from the Cactus Driver. I mean, it took three to knock Steve Austin out. Yeah, 
I don't know. Will Cactus be able to pick up Vinyl for the Cactus Driver, though? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So he's, so he's not going to be able to use the chunks. He's going to have to depend on his strengths. Yup. ECW DV title. The Man Beast Rhino. The crazy motherfucker Cactus Jack. Referring that bell. Oh, Rhino going straight for the punches. Oh, but oh, Cactus Jack caught him. Throwing Rhino in the corner. And then, uh, oh, reverse atomic drop and Rhino's in the corner. The constant punches, oh my god. Oh, Rhino missed the clothesline. And then, uh, oh, back drop driver. Yep. Oh wait, Rhino DDT. Now a kick to the back. Getting a weapon isn't always good to do against Cactus Jack, cause if he gets that weapon, oh wait, a sledgehammer. Oh, but Cactus. Okay. Yep. Uh oh, Cats is trying to pick up Rhino. Rhino with the elbow. Oh, clothesline, but a drop toe hold, and now he's on the middle rope. Cats is running the ropes, and a body avalanche. Picking up Rhino. Oh. Yep. Oh, but the elbows. He tried to pick up Rhino for a German suplex. Oh. Oh, the eye rake. I know, but Rhino got out of it this time. And a pop-up. Oh. One. Oh, Cactus kicked out at one. Yep. Oh, throwing Cactus Jack outside the ring. Oh, missing the kick to the gut. Cactus with the punch. Oh. Not a good idea to do. Oh, head straight into the barricade. Oh! The Cactus Driver on the outside? Oh, my God. Oh, my. Holy shit. Uh oh, grabbing Cactus Shack. What's he thinking? Oh, I guess nothing, because Cactus Jack got out of it with the elbows. Oh, a punch straight to Cactus Jack. Oh, going for an uppercut, but blocked. Oh, head first on the steel steps goes Rhino. Yup. Possibly give him a concussion. Oh. Cactus with the punches. Oh, wow. What a striker Cactus Jack really is, though. Oh, my God! Mm. Rhino, throw him in! Oh. Rhino. Pick, oh, picking up Cactus Shack. Oh, a suplex. Oh. On the cement. Oh, the cement floor on the outside. Rhino. Double underhook. Oh. Oh. Oh, butterfly DDT on the outside. My God. 
The Rhino's still trying to fight. Oh, a drop kick from Rhino! Uh oh, Rhino! Oh! What a belly to belly slam! Rhino grabbing a weapon. Oh, a kendo stick! Straight to. Oh! Just hitting Captain Jack in the back. Now picking him up. Could he be throwing him inside? He throws. Captain Jack is inside now! Rhino! Uh oh! Rhino! Setting up the gore! Oh my god! The gore! Could that be it? One! Two! Oh! Captain Jack kicked out! The second gore! Oh, oh wait, but Rhino, the strength of Rhino on the sledgehammer? Oh! Uh oh. The chop. On the ropes. Punch to the gut. Another one. Throwing catches off the ropes. Oh, what a clothesline. Head hitting the sledgehammer. Oh, no. Oh, the elbow. Uh oh. Off the ropes. Try and pick him up and catch the jack with the. Oh. Total World Side Slam. And then just slamming the head three times on the mat. Uh oh, in the corner, dropping Rhino down and then knee. One, two, three. Rhino just got in concussion. We need medical sets out here now. Rhino's eyes were not dilated. We need to get health out here now. Get doctors. We need to get him to a medical facility. Oh my god. We said Captain Jack was a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> but now, semi main event. It will be Eddie Guerrero versus Hooving 2 Guerrero for the hardcore title in a Falls Count Anywhere match. It'll be the Juice Driver versus the Frog Splash. He's going to walk out with the victory. Falls count anywhere. It can end anywhere. Parking lot. On the streets. It could even end in the Gulf of Mexico. No matter where. You just got to get that three count from your opponent. You just got to make sure those shoulders are down for a three count. Oh. Talking about Eddie Guerrero, here comes the Latino Heat, the man who lost the Hardcore Championship, didn't even hold it for a week, lost on his open challenge to Hoovy to Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero He lost the title He never got his dream match This Could be the time he gets his title back Yeah First ever two time champ with the uh, hardcore title. The 
He's just chilling with them. Coming out next is your hardcore champion, the man who debuted and won the title. Hoovitude Guerrera. It's the juice. Yep. Or could Eddie try and tap him with the lasso from El Paso? Yep. It's the way he injured Sabu. The way he injured Sabu. Yep. Eddie Guerrero. Hooven to Guerrero. Ref, ring that bell. Yeah. Eddie, he's gonna do whatever it takes to win this false count anywhere match. Nope. So far, it's just been back and forth. Another leg toss. Oh, just back and forth. <laughs> these men, these men's reflexes are just on point with catching the kicks. Moving to breaking out of whatever Eddie Guerrero was thinking. Uh oh, oh! Oh, a DT! Hoovy Tube with the flip! Could that be it? What? Oh, not even a one count. A roll up! One! Hoovy Tube trying to end this match early. Oh, bending the back. Just stretching it out. Uh oh, Eddie Guerrero with that. Oh, guys, arm unstuck. Oh, on the shoulder. Oh, a stun gun. Uh oh. Oh, was he already trying to go for the three amigos? Uh oh, wrestling leg sweep. Oh, kick to the gut. And a suplex of his own. Oh! Tell the Eddie to get up! Can he already be doing it? The juice! Driver has just connected! One! Two! Oh, Eddie kicked out! Man, that could have ended it. Oh, to the top! What is Hoovy 2 thinking? Tell the Eddie to get up. But, oh, oh, looking for, I don't know what he was looking for. He was spinning midair. <laughs> oh, 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 Eddie's on the outside. Pinfalls, you can, you can do pinfalls on the outside. Uh oh, drive by kick. Oh, looking for looking for the kick. Uh oh, Eddie, and has Hoovitude in the headlock, letting him go. Oh, ooh, heel kick. Oh. Oh, oh, kick to the leg. Eddie Guerrero, who did defeat Sabu, the first ever hardcore champion. And he, as we've heard, Sabu is still at home wrestling. We 
Sabu uh, early recovery. Yep. Right now. Oh, Northern Lights. That's something that he has against Juventude. His speed. His, his quickness to get onto a move. Uh oh, try and pick up Hoovitude. Hoovitude blocking. Uh oh, both men back inside the ring. Oh, a close on another one, ducking his, and then a drop kick. Uh oh, a kick to the guy. Oh no! The Brain Buster! One, two, oh! A close three count! Oh, Eddie! Going to the top! The Frog Splash to Hoovintude! One, two, oh! Hoovintude kicked out! I thought that was it. Oh, now he's trying to. Oh, trying to stretch out his arms. Lately, Eddie Guerrero's been quite a technician. Been working on his technician skills. Oh, arm drag. Oh, looking for the juice. Come on. Oh, he has it! Uh, the Juice! Driver! One! Two! Oh, he kicked out again! Eddie again survives. Off the second Juice Driver! Oh! Turning Eddie around! Oh! The Camel Clutch! The Camel Clutch! Is he gonna make Eddie tap? Oh! Eddie Guerrero got out. Oh, and he's mad now. But Hoovy 2 don't care. He's still trying to fight, which is a bad idea. Northern Lights and the bridge. One, two. Oh, the kick out from Hoovy 2. Oh, leg sweep. Kick to the leg. Oh, step up. Oh! Moving dude busted open after that drop kick. Oh. Oh, Eddie! No, don't do it! The crucifix! Powerball! Oh, a suplex! The three amigos! A second one. And oh, could that be it for Hoovy Dude? One, two. Hoovy Dude kicked out, and he can't believe it. Oh, Eddie, just staring down Hoovy Dude. Uh oh. Not another one, Eddie. No, oh, a good. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, just bending the back of Hoovitude. Hoovitude has to tap. Eddie Guerrero is your first ever two time hardcore champion. Oh my god! Eddie Guerrero just tapped out Hoovy Tune. Oh my god! 
Now it's time for the main event. It will be Jimmy Snuka versus Kurt Angle for the ECW Cha World Heavyweight Championship. Coming out first is none other than the Superfly, Jimmy Snuka. The, Jimmy Snuka finally gets a fight cut angle for the, for the ECW Championship. Jimmy Snuka was the first ever ECW Champion when ECW first ever started back in like 2000 no in like 19 something in like the 1990s but he's back and he wants to win it again and coming up next is the All-American ECW Champion, Kurt Angle. The man who won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. But could he break Jimmy Snuka's freaking neck in this match? Kurt Angle been ECW champion ever since the first episode. Jimmy Snuka has been attacking him under a mask. But they finally get to fight. Could this be Kurt Angle's redemption? Or could this be Jimmy Snuka's dream? ECW Championship is on the line. ECW Jimmy Snuka. Jimmy Snuka praying. Kurt Angle hyped up. Let's get this match underway. Here we go. Oh, Jimmy Snuka with the reverse atomic drop to start it off. Oh, the leg. Oh. And then kick to Kurt Angle. Oh, Kurt Angle fighting back. Oh, on the outside. Headbutt. Uh oh. Oh. Slamming his knee on his own knee. Oh, Jimmy Snuka, whatever he's thinking wasn't going to be too good. But Kurt Angle got out of it, thankfully. Uh-oh. Grabbing him in the slam. Oh. Oh, Jimmy with the punch. Oh, Kurt Angle slamming him into the steel steps.
Throwing Jimmy Snook in the ring. Uh oh, but slamming him! Oh. Uh oh, trying to pick up Jimmy Snook. And Jimmy Snook got out there and punched to the back. Uh oh, pop up, Harry Kanana! Could that be it? One, oh, not even a one count. Uh oh. James Nika throws Kurt Angle on the apron. Oh, but Kurt Angle with a punch. Oh, trying to lift Jimmy. Going for a slam, but Jimmy. Oh, DDT! And then a headbutt. Oh, lifting up Kurt Angle. And a slam of his own! Just twisting the head of Kurt Angle. Oh! Jimmy Snuka going to the top! Could it be Superfly? Oh, no, just a knee drop. And another knee! One! Two! Oh, Kurt Angle kicked out. Oh. Oh! Looking for a backhand. But Kurt Angle caught it. Uh oh. Snap to the arm. Oh! Suplex to Kurt Angle! Oh! Now could it be super flat time? Uh oh! Kurt Angle's tires might be a Oh no! Kurt Angle moved out the way. What Kurt Angle? Uh oh! Kurt Angle trying to grab a weapon. Yup. Don't just focus on weapons in this match. Uh oh. Oh, a suplex! Oh no, we've seen this! A second one! Oh no! Suplex City! Or put in that ankle lock. Oh! Oh, an insecurity! Yep. Oh, a D! Oh! Telling Kurt Angle to get up! Oh! Elbow backhand! Kurt Angle's busted open! One! Two! Oh, Kurt Angle kicked out. Thought that was it. Oh, tell him to get up again! Not another one! Elbow backhand! One! Two! Another kick out! Kicked out of two elbow back backhands. Oh, throwing Kurt Angle on the apron. Oh, lifting him up for a suplex. And oh. Oh, on the top. Nope. Oh, an elbow. Uh oh. Grabbing the leg. Pulling it. Ah! Uh oh. Yep. Uh oh. Fireman. Picking up Kurt Angle. Oh, Kurt Angle with the punch. Close line. Uh oh, choking out Jimmy Snuka in the corner. Uh oh, good angle grabbing Jimmy Snuka. Oh, head first into the turnbuckle. The punch. Now throwing Jimmy into the corner. The ref's knocked out, missing the shoulder tackle. Oh, the headbutt. Headbutt. Oh, wait. 
Oh, a job kick! I'll try and pick up Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle with a drop. Uh oh, belly to be overhead, belly to belly. Uh oh. Oh! Looking for the German. But Jimmy Suka with the counter. And now a slam. Oh no! For the third time! Ow! Oh, missing it! He missed again! Oh, he throwing cutting on the corner. Oh, now he, Oh, no. He missed twice. That could have been it. Oh, wait. Now going for it. The elbow. Backhand. One, two, three. Jimmy Snooker is once again your ECW champion. Oh. Jimmy Snooker was on a mission. He wasn't going to leave until he completed it. My God. He came back for one thing and one thing only, and it was to win that ECW championship. Oh my god, what a what a final main event. What a pay-per-view. I want to thank everyone who's came to the stream. I want to thank everyone who's going to watch the stream afterwards. I want to thank William for coming to the stream and helping me with this pay-per-view. No Make sure to go subscribe to him. He has amazing content. He has content weekly going on every week. So just keep up to date with that. Next time on ECW, it will be more extreme, more wrestling, more extreme wrestling, more ECW. Thank you for coming to the pay-per-view, and I will see you all next time on ECW. And subscribe to the one and only with a three and not a knee. Deuces.